monumental night in Jaguars history last night as the Jaguars in the 2021 NFL draft had two draft picks, the number one overall pick as well as pick number 25. And the Jaguars got very highly touted quarterback out of Clemson, Trevor Lawrence. And then with the 25th overall pick, we didn't go too far. We got somebody from the same backfield as Trevor Lawrence, and that is running back out of Clemson, Travis Etienne. And in this video, we're going to break it all down. Let's get it. So the Trevor Lawrence pick, this was something that obviously we have all been looking forward to for literally four months since the day that the Jets beat the Rams um, right before Christmas. We've been looking forward to this day and four months have gone by. We were all so excited about different photoshops and different stuff where ooh, Urban Meyer hinted at getting Trevor Lawrence. Ooh, like Trevor Lawrence has been following Jaguars receivers and it all became official last night as Trevor Lawrence is now quarterback of the Jacksonville. Jaguars and it's a very very exciting day obviously I got a little bit emotional um, by the pick just because my whole life I've just been wanting a quarterback like this I've been struggling with having guys like Blake Bortles, Cody Kessler, Chad Henney, Blaine Gabbert. I mean, when you have conversations about top five Jaguars quarterbacks in franchise history it's an embarrassing conversation because we've had after, after Mark Brunel, you probably put David Garrard, and then it's just a bunch of slop. You know what I mean? And now, finally, the Jaguars get Trevor Lawrence. Um, obviously, Trevor Lawrence isn't a guaranteed thing, but um, when it comes to Trevor Lawrence, he's as good as I mean he he's as he's as bust proof as there can be um so I'm not gonna be Mr. Negative and say oh you never know how he's gonna do how he's gonna translate look I mean I have a lot of belief in Trevor Lawrence he's one of my favorite quarterback prospects probably my favorite quarterback prospect to ever come out I think one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time I grew up watching Peyton Manning he looks a lot like Peyton Manning to me moving around the pocket but Trevor Lawrence can actually run which is just Peyton Manning basically with a set of legs so it's very cool and i'm so excited about this pick but the next one obviously going into this night we had no idea who we we're going to pick at number 25 uh there were there were so many different positions of knees we've gone safety defensive tackle a uh, wide receiver and maybe even tight end offensive line but the jaguars went with running back running back travis Etienne, and this was somebody that i wasn't over i wasn't really mad about this pick i was actually slightly excited because this is a guy that i had been mentioning every now and then that the jaguars might take at pick number 25 or 33 um kind of subtly subtly kind of hinting at it but i didn't know how much of a realistic possibility it was um just due to the fact that nobody else is really talking about it um, but on the service you look at it and you say you know we got a we got a backup running back a, a, a third down running back out here uh, with the 25th overall pick but it is much much more than that in this draft one thing that I really wanted I really wanted a wide receiver but I wanted a specific type of wide receiver I didn't want like a Rashad Bateman because we have players like that we have a pretty good wide receiver core DJ Chark, um, you even look at Marvin Jones with the height guys. We have a powerful wide receiver like LaVisca Chenault. But one thing that we don't have, we don't have that like wide receiver, that stop on a dime, change of pace, super elusive. Um, we don't have that kind of type of back or type of wide receiver. But the thing was, we took that need of that player and instead of putting that at wide receiver, we moved it to running back. And Travis Etienne, he adds a whole other element to the offense. He's a player that the Jaguars don't currently have on the roster. Uh, Urban Meyer basically said that when he looked at last year's film, there was not a lot of just big play explosiveness kind of players out like from the offense. And that's what he kind of wanted out of ETN. He's a true home run hitter. And ETN's a type of guy like, you know, on third down, he can be back there, you know, in the backfield out of there and pass protection, or he can go out there and, you know, obviously run routes out of the backfield and he can I even see him splitting out and going to the slot and playing some slot wide receiver you know last year James Robinson at running back was all the Jaguars had he was all the Jaguars had and but you know and then there were sometimes times where James Robinson would you know motion out he'd go play a wide receiver but he never really felt like a threat at wide receiver you know he was truly um, you know a downfield runner a powerful runner he he was a very good running back and that's no knock on him but it's kind of his strength but ETN comes in here. He provides a much different ability on the most important down in football, and that is third down. So I'm very excited about it. And now I'm at the point where, like, you know, wide receiver 
isn't as big of a need to me because we got a guy with Travis Etienne's skill set. Nowadays with offense, when I look at an offense, I want players on the field that all have vastly different strengths. So, you know, now on third downs, we're going to have DJ Chark, who's a, you know, speedy guy who can catch 50-50 balls, who can, you know, catch these, you know, back shoulder throws, um, can stretch the defense. You also have LaVisca Chenault, who's just powerful, great after the catch. Um, And you you have Etienne out of the backfield who can uh, make some things happen, whether it's on a handoff or whether um, they want to set up a screen or whatever for him. And then, you know, even later, we might even be able to get a tight end that brings a whole other dynamic to the offense. So um, Etienne, from from the surface level, it looks like it's going to be a luxury because it's like, oh, you know, you look at a third down back, backup running back. We already have James Robinson. What's going on with that? But you have to look deeper at this. It's not just a guy that's it's not just a Chris Thompson. You know, we're not getting a guy that's like, oh, you know, take James Robinson out. Uh, this guy can come in and kind of help pass protect. It's much more than that. You know, ETN, um, if you look at him at Clemson, home run type ability. I mean, I've known about him for the last three years and we all raise our eyebrows when it's like ETN's coming back to college. Um, but you know he stayed committed he wanted to help them win a championship and um, I do like this pickup for the Jaguars and the thing was a lot of people were complaining about the pick because a lot of people wanted Christian Barmore, Travis Merrick, you know, one of these offensive linemen but but the but the players that the Jaguars won in that pick number 25 most of those guys are still out there and available. So um, the Jaguars still have some more draft picks. After this video, I'm going to make another video basically on day two draft needs. But I really wanted to focus this video on um, really just what we did day one. And um, obviously, once we draft Trevor Lawrence, I think we've won the draft. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it doesn't really get much better than that. And on top of that, everything else is gravy. But we still have a lot of picks, guys. Um, I still, I mean, I was a guy going into this draft. I want to get offense. You know what I mean? I, I, I want to get offense. And we definitely address one of those things here. So let me know your thoughts. Am I crazy? Am I being too optimistic? I mean, like I said, I'm not just trying to defend uh, the Jaguars here because ETN's a guy that I've, you know, if you guys watch me, I've mentioned his name uh, more than a few times. I even put out a clip on Twitter and Instagram today about me mentioning him um, along with our different packages on offense. So I still expect the Jaguars to be picking up some offensive weapons because that's not something that we really did um, in this whole entire free agency class. And really just even in last year's draft. So let me know your thoughts. I will be streaming again tonight. So it's going to be a lot of fun and I will see you guys in my next video. Go Jags. You guys watched the whole video. Really appreciate that. You guys can subscribe to the channel for the best source of Jaguars news on the YouTube platform. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at UCF underscore Jaguar. And you can become a member of the channel for as low as $3 a month for exclusive channel content. Thank you guys and go Jags.